What's up, Internet? Corey Zamier here, collecting with Corey, and I've been tagged by Nintendo 13 to show you guys the worst video games in my collection. Now, the problem with this is I don't play a lot of games. I'm pretty majority just... English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Just a collector at this point. Like, I, I play a few games like Pokemon, Yokai Watch, Fire Emblem. I don't, like, sit down and play a whole bunch of games. So, I don't really have that much of an opinion on a lot of these. So, some of the worst games in my collection are my opinion, and you might like the game. You might think the game's not that bad, but I've tried it, and I fucking hate it, you know? So, let's get through this list. I actually, I think it was supposed to be a top five list. I pulled out more than five games, to be honest. Um, and I'm going to kind of try and go in order. And like I said, this is my list. These are games I've tried to play. And was just like, what the fuck is wrong with the Like, it's just fucking terrible. So, first up, this one's going to be controversial. Uh, it's an Atlas title. First off, like, how is that ever on a worst ever game list? But I tried this. I heard pretty good things about it. Like, not amazing, but middle of the road. And that is Code of Princess. I actually got this from my friend Ted. And I tried it out just to see see if it's a game I'm gonna actually play through and it's terrible it kind of reminds me of uh, Guardian Heroes but without anything good associated with it for a 3ds game it's fucking ugly like the graphics are just terrible and I'm not usually about graphics but this game was not fun I tried playing it for maybe an hour and I have no desire to ever put that in a 3DS again. Uh, I'll never get that hour back. Like, the only reason I'm holding on to it is it's an RPG. You know? I'm an RPG collector, and theoretically someday I might want to go for a complete Atlas collection, so... Ugh. Next up, and like I said, this isn't really in any particular order. This is just the worst games. I'm not going to say like what one's the absolute worst, but this one's also going to be controversial. Um, kind of trying to be a Mario Kart game, but not really. Imagine taking all the skill out of a Mario Kart game and just going forward and kind of, kind of steering yourself a little bit. Not really. You can just kind of hold down the go button. And you'll probably do just as good as if you were trying. Kirby Air Ride. Probably the worst Kirby game I can think of. Definitely my least favorite Kirby game that I've played. This one, probably going to be on a lot of people's lists. I've tried it out because I've heard it's so bad. Shaq Fu. Yeah, it's pretty bad. While I don't think it's unplayable, I would put it up there with... Well, like, a lot of people seem to like the game that I'm about to compare it to, but it reminds me of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters on the Super Nintendo. Another fighting game which I kind of view as unplayable. Like, especially if you're fighting the computer. If you're just fighting your friend who also doesn't know what the fuck they're doing, you have a chance. If you try and fight the computer on that game, you're fucked. This game, like, floaty controls, really poor uh, controls overall. Keep it on this list. I would say, I'm not going to pull it out because it's over there, but Tournament Fighters probably should be on this list too. I just really don't think that's a good game. Like, it tries to be Street Fighter, but it's really bad at it. Uh, a few of these games are on the list just because they're unplayable. Um... And if I had, what is it, Platoon for the NES, it would be on this list, but I don't think I actually have that. I keep seeing it, and I never pick it up because I know it's not worth it. Because it's unplayable. Why would I want it? I'll get it eventually for like a dollar maybe, but... 
Here's one that I picked up because I never heard of it until, well, I tried it. Dash Galaxy in the Alien Asylum. This game is fucking atrocious. Go look it up. It's, it's bad. Next game is highly unplayable unless... Maybe if you read the manual, maybe if you have the manual, and the manual explains how to play it. Otherwise, Defenders of the Crown really doesn't make any fucking sense. And you'll just lose. Um, here's another game that just doesn't make any fucking sense. And I don't understand why I don't get this game anymore. Now, I'll tell you a little bit of a story. Uh, when I was younger, and my mom worked at Toy Works, oh, spoiler, spoiler what game it is. I had a Game Boy Color, and there was a game that came out for it, Shadowgate Classic. And I was an RPG collector, I looked at it, and it looked like an RPG to me, because I was stupid, and I didn't have the internet. So, I convinced her to pick it up for me, and I tried playing it, and it's one of those things where... You convince someone to buy you a game, you kind of got to keep playing it, and I did get some enjoyment out of it, like it's a point and click adventure where you're just kind of going to die for no good reason, just certain decisions will kill you 100% of the time, and you just have to learn to not make that decision, so it's like trial and error. Uh, problem is, I remember being able to get a few screens in on the Game Boy Color version. However, when I tried to play Shadowgate, the original, for the NES, for a Let's Play something way back in the day, I couldn't even get off the first screen. So that's a fucking problem. I tried every fucking thing. I didn't want to have to look it up in the middle of the video, so I just never made the video. I just deleted the clip. It was about 10 minutes of me clicking everywhere, selecting every option, getting nowhere. The next game, another one I picked up, or convinced my mom to pick up, because it's an RPG. And at the time, I was actually trying to go through the PlayStation 1 alphabetically buying RPGs. So I had picked up Azure Dreams. That's not on this list. I like that game. Um, I never picked up Albert Odyssey. I ended up all the way at G's and we picked up the Grand Stream Saga. A game which I'm told plays a lot like Zelda. And at the time when I picked this up, I had never actually played a Zelda game other than Link's Awakening. And I could definitely see some similarities, but this game is atrocious. As a Zelda clone, it is terrible. The graphics are bad. It does have interesting uh, like anime cutscenes, which as a what? How old was I when this came out? This was 98, so you figure as like a as a 12 year old that's about to purchase the game. This cutscene gonna seem like something I'm gonna want to see. You know what I'm saying? So terrible game though. All right, on to the last two games. One of them I think is actually literally the worst game. From a gameplay perspective, like it's playable, but you shouldn't, and that is the Uncanny X-Men on the NES. And this is very disappointing to me for one very specific reason. My favorite X-Men is featured in this game. You could play as Colossus. You just shouldn't. Just like you shouldn't play this game. I believe the only characters worth playing as are Iceman, Cyclops, and Storm, because they have ranged attacks. Everybody else just kind of... And then they die. That's all you do in this game. You just kind of jerk around, and then you die. It's fucking terrible. But this is the last game on this list, and I absolutely hate it. Echo the Dolphin, the only thing that's fun about this game is trying to beat him in the initial stage. Underwater games suck. We all know it. You know it. It's just fucking terrible. It, none of it is fun. And this was actually my first 
console game. The first one I ever owned. I mean, I guess you could tie it with Sonic 2 because it was tied in with the system, but the first game I was ever given as a gift on a console. So, I'm going to tag some people real quick. Uh, shit. Here's the problem with tag videos. I don't know who's been tagged already. So if there's some duplicates, I apologize. I'm going to tag three people. I'm going to tag Rob Mitchell, the video game hoarder. Fluffy Gamer. And I don't know if he still does video game videos, but I would love to hear from him. Jay the video game guy. So go check out those channels. Maybe they'll make a tag video response, whatever it's called. Uh, go check out Nintendo 13. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description below. <sighs> like this video. Let me know about what you think about these uh, selections I've made. I guess if you don't want to make a video, you can leave a list of your worst games in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, keep it real, internet. I love you guys.